Hello fellow gamers and welcome to another episode of How To Green Hell Animal Husbandry Edition. Welcome back, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning viewer and if not, thank you so much for joining us. So glad that you're here. We are just doing a little animal husbandry here. Quick recap. Our little girl here is expecting. That's a good girl. Good job. It's so nice to play on a save where it's actually raining. Not quite there. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. We've got a little baby that was born. Okay. We'll get to this in a second. We'll get to this in a second. What are, what are you? What are you? You're male. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you folks what my goal is for these little duders. Yeah, let's pick up this stinky stuff. That's our male, and she is expecting as well. We've noticed that the uh, the, the uh, tapir, the gestation period, is quite a bit longer. No shock, it's like that in the real world, world too, if you look it up. And it's, it's a long time. But it looks like our babies are hungry. So we should focus on that. I'm sure their water is going to be fine, simply because it's raining. Um, but they are going to need some food. Bees is not an option right now. Unless you put them under some sort of structure, which you definitely can do. These are not ready. So, of course, we're going to have to go out and do some foraging. Watch out for snakes. Okay, this is great. This will work. Eh, it's, it's being stingy. Are you going to load any bananas up? Nope, you sure aren't. Whoa, easy there, buddy. We are going to keep these for us. We'll just... Ah, here we go. This is fabulous right here. These cassava bulbs really, really, really work very well with these... Ah, oh, no. How could I? We're going to make this work, though. See? Lemon squeezy. <laughs> that iguana is still booking. Okay, and... Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these puppies. They'll, they'll eat these up as well. You just got to harvest them. Turn them into small piles of leaves, small leaf piles. But that is so awesome. We have a little baby. We have a little peccary baby. It's just born. Just born. I went and checked on the animals last night. Yeah. Unless I missed the baby, but I'm pretty sure that the peccary was still still pregnant, so... Uh, here we go again. It's doing us wrong. Alright, let's... Har uh, you know what? Let's do it this way. We're doing it live. Okay. I should have a palm leaf holder back at the base. Okay, we're just going to have to wait until you spawn into a regular on-the-ground looking palm leaf thing, whatever it's called. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So we should have quite a bit of food for our bibis. Yeah, here we go. Here's a palm leaf holder over here. No problem. More palm... Okay, all right, cool. All right, well, let's get to it. We're going to leave that snare the way it is. These guys have plenty of food. These guys are going to need the most. Here's what I'll do. These guys, I'm sure, are hungry. Put that in there. Put that in there. Yeah, look at them just gobbling all that up. Put these in here. And we'll put these in here. And that should hold them for a little while. I don't think I have anything else. I don't. I don't think I need really any of these Bidens right now. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put them in an area where I can remember where they're at. This is as good as any. And I'll keep one of these on me. Yep, there we go. Perfect. If you want to see some cool stuff, by the way, like, you know, I, I live stream this solo four hours a week on Twitch if you want to come check me out. There's also a link down in the description if you'd like to join us. We'd love to have you. 
You can interact with us live, which is always nice. Okay, that's a Tapir over there. Another thing I want to check. Okay, perfect. I do have some poison darts that we can use. I just want to take this out. I don't know if I'm going to refill it in this episode or not. Not really going to worry about it. Just going to take these charcoal, store most of them away. And then we'll keep going. We'll keep going. This, as I remember, yes, is our little area. Put that there. I've noticed that if you do this, I don't know, it does something weird with them. It does something really weird with them. So we'll just, we'll just, we'll just leave it be. Leave it be. There we go. All right. So do I have? I have a torch that's uh, probably about to go. Wait a second. Look at that. 261%. I like it. I like it. Let's, uh... What if we... Hmm. How do we... Can we cheese this? Can we cheese this? Probably not. Wait, what the heck is going on? My torch isn't going out. And it's raining. I mean, I'm gonna take it. I'll, I'll count that as a W, but I don't think that's supposed to happen. All right. Fill these up. And let's get to the next order of business. Which is humanely removing one of the animals out of the pen over here. And what I, my goal is, we've got a female, we've got a male, and we have another male. So to prevent overcrowding... Thank you for everything, sweetie. You have won your freedom. She so doesn't look too enthused. Yeah, it lowers their trust. It's It stinks, but it is what it is. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and tie her up. Y'all don't object. This is this is a good thing. This is, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's do that. There we go. And we're just going to take her over here. You're free now. Yeah, you're free. Okay, and then we're going to switch these back. Oh my goodness, here we go again. Here we go again. Alright, hopefully Creepy Jar will fix that. They're aware of that issue and find it very humorous. <laughs> Alright, does this still... Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Okay. And, you know, we can probably, now that I think about it, we can just keep this lit. And we can use the poop we find... As fuel. There we go. I hope it stops raining. That certainly would be nice. I really want some more of those. Yeah, this is great. Okay, this is looking good. Hydration is climbing very quickly. Some, <laughs> not as quick on others, but that's okay. And yeah, let's head out. I still think that's interesting that it did not go out, the torch. I am confused. Again, I'll take the W, but I'm, I'm still confused. I'm really looking for stuff where I can plant more seeds. Oh, no. I see her. Do y'all see her? I see her. She's right there. Got her. I had a feeling I might be getting a visit from her. Alright. I, I just did that for the harvesting experience. Not going to keep... Oh, you know what? I'll keep one for the soup. To make a soup with it. Over at the campfire. If we don't find anything better by then. And a lot of times you will see some of these citrus fruits spawn. Up over there. We don't really need a soursop plant. There we go. I'll let the rain do the rest. So I'm going to leave those be. I'm really looking for some of those... <laughs> call them jungle oranges.
Okay. Okay. Is the is the rain letting up? Can't tell. Never can tell, can you? Always a fan of the wood resin, especially now that we are a beekeeper. Okay, there's a frog over there. This is kind of a nice find. Um, you know what? I'm going to take it with me now that I don't have the clay bottles anymore. Yep, there we go. And we may use that as well. Just giving this a quick once over, just to make sure I don't miss anything. And I feel pretty safe now that the the jaguar has been dispatched. We'll say. I'm sure, I've walked past a hundred of them. Sorry, sorry, my lovely community. If that's the case. <laughs> And I went in a complete circle, didn't I? I sure did. Okay, well, you guys have met me before. Most of y'all have. <laughs> My mistake. Let's head back over here. See, I just didn't want to... You know what? I can, I can cheese it down. That's not a big deal. There we go. Since we didn't find any citrus stuff, let's, let's head over here. You know what? Actually, let's just... I don't know if we looked up here. I don't think that we did. Ah, we did. Okay, never mind. And then this is where we got turned around. Okay. Now I know where I'm at. I hear bees. I see bees. Let's see if we do something amazing or make a huge mistake. Oh my gosh, the torch is still going. That is interesting. Got our queen bee, got our honey, got our torch that is totally, totally bulletproof, I guess. I don't I don't know what to call it. <laughs> it is it's definitely working. There wasn't any other bees over here, was there? No, it doesn't does certainly doesn't appear so. Okay. I want to check one other place over here, and just so y'all know, especially especially y'all new folks, we're over here, and I'm heading up this way. If you notice right now, I'm at 4824, which is right here, and we're, we're getting ready to loop over into that area over there. Might be ready for some soup when we get back. We're, we're losing energy fast, aren't we? Okay, works for me. Works for me. Alright, and that little cave that you saw on the map is just right over here. Just trying to cover as much ground as possible. Hmm, speaking of energy, let's just go ahead and eat that. See our energy pop up down there. Got some bananas. Hmm, how we doing? Let's hold off on those for now. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> let's destroy him, just in case we come by this way again. I noticed there was one that was spoiled on the ground. Hate to accidentally step on that and freak out. Which I'm accustomed to do. Okay. It's always when you're looking for it. You can never find it. But when you're not looking for it, they're everywhere. Not today, the jungle says. Not today. Oh, water. Yes, please. 
This is wonderful for water. I mean, it's wonderful for carbs, but you get a little hydration there, as you can see. A couple little proteins. And let's take this back. We can use this as food for our bebis as well. I keep thinking I'm hearing a jaguar. I know I'm not, but, you know, that first one, it's like you hear footsteps after that, you know? I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm back over this way as well. Because usually, yep, and there is, there's bees. Right now, I am just collecting some queen bees for us. Come on, gimme. There we go. That is the weirdest thing. Look at this. This torch is working wonderfully in the rain. No clue what's going on. But it's clearly raining. Okay. Just want to take a look over here. There. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was getting ready to give up. And here's what I'm going to do. I am going to harvest this, and I'm also going to harvest these three. These are wonderful little fruits for your animals. They love them. It fills up almost 50%, something like 45% of their trough. So it is good stuff, especially if you have a lot of these. And of course the goal, at least in this series, well, one of the goals, I should say, is being self-sufficient. You know, not having to go out very far. I've said that a couple of times. Not having to go out far and, and hunt and spend all this time looking for food when you can just have a little base where you've got the food you need to feed yourself and your animals. That's ultimately what the goal is. And I mean, technically, when you think about it, I may leave one of the pens to have, you know, at least one male and one female so that when they breed, you know, it'll make an animal. And if we have to take one to slaughter, we take one to slaughter. Which, when you think about it, I could have done that with the peccary that I, I let loose. Just something to consider. Get some of that sanity back. These leeches took a couple nibbles out of us. I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, for those of you that have watched me on Twitch, you will... Oh, another bee. You may notice I did something. Oh, this one. Okay, okay. We have to approach it from a different angle. Yep, I remember this one. Get up there, Jake. All right, buddy, we're gonna do this. There we go. And last time I lost the thing of honey, so I'm gonna watch to see where it falls. Interesting. Uh uh, it did it again. It did it again. Yep. The same thing happened to me on my Twitch live stream. It just fell through the earth. Okay, no problem. We got three queen bees. I love it. This is fantastic. But yeah, I'm doing something a little bit different uh, on the Twitch live stream with the beekeeping. And it's actually working out really, really well. That's on my Thursday live stream. And I'm probably going to make a YouTube video in the very near future of what I've done. But it won't be like, you know, four hours like on Twitch. It'll... Probably be 20 or 30 minutes. Maybe, I don't know if it's going to be one or two episodes. It depends on how deep, how in-depth I go into explaining things versus how long it's going to take to construct it. But yeah, I'll edit it and stuff like that. So you're not having to, you know, some of y'all like this and some of y'all like the ones where I use editing to make one video. You know what? Let's take it. Go. There's our armored boy. Well, hello to you too, sir. Okay, fire's doing okay. Let's go ahead and feed these guys. I didn't feed the tapir. 
So let's check them out first. Yeah, they're... They're wanting some foods. You're welcome. Yeah, I know, you're welcome. There we go. Over here, these guys are doing pretty good. Yeah, these guys are both doing about the same. So I'll drop those... Ah, drop those in there. Drop these in here. And you may have noticed the fire. I mean, it's not low, low. But it is getting lower. And these wonderful animals, they supply you with firewood, whether you realize it or not. That's right, this stuff is combustible. I guess that's the bees making that sound. Okay. Super jump! Okay, we're good. This will probably be enough. This... Oh, I thought I heard something. <laughs> so, let's make ourselves some jaguar soup. And here we go. Okay, not quite enough. That's okay. We'll just dump some of these in there. And we've still got a wonderful fire with some delicious meals on here. Yeah, it looks like both of these are jaguar... Jaguar cuisine, we'll say. <laughs> cuisine of the jaguar variety. Let's get this out. I still can't believe this torch is working. That is wild. Y'all are still probably pretty full. So are y'all. And why not? Why not? You're welcome. Uh, you know what? We do need some water. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal from y'all. Sorry, but you may remember in the last episode. I think we completed this one in the last episode. It's already full, so that is fantastic. Still got some room to put stuff around here if we really want to. Okay. Yeah, you can actually you can place stuff in here. Like I, we have a dryer on our. Um, Friday multiplayer live stream up here and we also have one over here and I believe our weapons rack is in that little hut over there and that seems to work pretty well for us as well also it kind of keeps it up high away from prying native hands we'll say say this too folks if you've enjoyed it up to this point please don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet We'd love to have you. You can set it up for... Oh, not again. Not this again. You can... You can... You can set it up uh, for alerts and whatnot. Um... I saw you. There you are. There you are. Oh, wait. We've already got six. It's not gonna work. This is just... Current gamer thinking about future gamer. Just in case I need... Whoa! Need food for them in a pinch. I can just take those down. Okay, I think we got all of them right there. Boom, boom, boom. And the other one that we had was over here. Man, time flies when you're having fun. Where was it? Was it? Let's see. Jungle corn. There it is right there. Yeah, we can wait on the jungle corn. So I'm just going to look on the ground. Okay, maybe this wasn't the one. This might not have been the one because I don't see any palm leaves on the ground. I was just going to try to be sneaky and scoop those up very quickly since we were already kind of out here. No big whoop. No big whoop. Everything's looking good. Look at these. These are growing. This is already showing. Whoa! <laughs> that scared me. It's already showing some growth. Um, honey is about a third of the way done. Man, that stuff grows really fast. And we've got a new little baby. 
And we've got a bunch of happy little, happy little piggies, happy little kiddos over there. Well, folks, if you enjoyed this episode, once again, please don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I'd like to wish you happy building, safe building, and many blessings. Oh, and it just went out. Look at that. Take care, folks. Oh, wait a second. It went out now that it's at 100%. Yep. Okay. I think we know why then. I think we might need to reach out to Creepy Jar for that one. But yeah, folks, everybody, y'all take care. Thanks for watching. <laughs>